the right guys and I said, I will! <laughs> Why do you make me read all these stupid books? And I'll never forget what he said to me. He said, Leo, this body was surrounded on all sides by gangs, violence, and drugs, and crime. But when you're inside the book, when you're inside the poem, when you're inside the story, you are safe. And none of that can hurt you. And with those words, a life was saved. With those words, a spell was broken. So this first poem today is going to honor the person who is the reason that I'm here in front of you all today. This is in honor of the abuelo. This my grandfather who saved me when my mother could not and my father would not. So this is for my grandfather. This is called Abuelo's Garden. This is the first poem. Memories of my grandfather's gun come back to me differently than of the child of the hood memories. Memories of my grandfather's gun come back to me in low water voices and deep chest hymns that begin as a girl who in the belly and rise to the throat slowly. I remember little of the day my friends jumped me in. I remember fists nailed me and afterwards those deep fleshy embraces. Only Latinos know how to give, but grandfather's gun come back to me with aromas. With taste, with gorillo, sun to the sun, and then I sun to the moon, making both sides of life, the light and the dark, and the bountiful harvest. I, the Osmeo, all those nights we knelt together and brown earth was always about harmony, about balance, key and tone deeply, thanking the life giving soul for its eating. I follow soup, carefully pulling up cilantro, manzanilla, yellow manzo, always making sure that his fate never touches fragile root, sweet, ancient abuelito. How could I be anything but a poet after those moments we share? Don't you see? In my grandmother's garden, Chiles grew. In my grandmother's garden, children grew. In my grandmother's garden, poems rose from the earth like the twisted arms of La Llorona desperately reaching out for her children. In my grandmother's garden, all these things would rise slowly because beautiful things take time to bloom. In my grandmother's garden, all of these things would rise slowly like well water voices, like deep chest hymns that begin as a gurgle deep in the belly, and rise to the throat, slowly singing, always singing. Bendito, bendito, bendito sea Dios, los ángeles cantan y alaban a Dios. Los ángeles cantan y alaban a Dios. Now, uh, this poem is called December, and 
happened to me during my 10th December when I was much younger than you. So to celebrate this poem in our day right now, and by the way, this poem's about the islands. Uh, and to, uh, to celebrate our culture in this day right now, I'm going to transform before your very eyes, I'm going to transform into my 10-year-old self. So here goes.
it would shame my grandfather. So instead, I decided to write a poem about how this man and I actually connected to one another. Now maybe someday we can come to respect one another. Maybe even God willing one day come to love one another. So this poem is dedicated to the man that I assaulted in the mall. It's called Speaking in Tongues. Thank you for this. Siempre que volvaste bien, yo no te sepa pintar la cinta. Sit on me, hey, my little woman, that ties your shoe. You see, this was meant for my daughter and not for you. So as you roll your eyes and speak in a voice loud enough for her to hear, if they can't speak our language, they don't belong here. Know this. Your contempt for the language my grandfather prayed in is the least of my words. It's the least of my fears. What you should have contempt for is how simple you are. Simple. Which comes from the Spanish simple. Derived from the Latin simplus, meaning stupid. <laughs> because you see, people living in Adobe houses should not throw stones because Adobe is one of my people who use it a long time for home. Even the most American words like the Alamo, barbecue, burrito, they all come from our people. Even the food that realizes just because you take something doesn't mean plagiarize. By the way, Lajiado, that's the Spanish word for which plagiarize arrives. You see, we give them willingly. So when you attack my language, you attack your own. And that makes you a cannon. From the Spanish Carina. You arrive at the Latin so maybe you can grasp this. If you ever had a different tongue, so I'm about to only tell about the birds and then you'll begin to see that this is the way tongues are meant to be. This is the way we were meant to be unido. Which is Spanish in the United which comes from Latin meat that means inseparable with it. You still have the nerve to demand that I speak with your tongue? Don't you see, son? <laughs> I already do! <laughs> your tongue is my grandfather in Murito con huevos y chorizo. <laughs> your tongue is he and she and we. Your tongue is everyone. Your tongue is a blending of all accents, all colors, all things. If you listen closely to the hip hop lyrics being sung by your son, you realize that your tongue is new variations on old things like gospel, becoming blues, becoming rock, becoming rap. Your tongue is as black. As Eminem and Elvis Presley's lyrics. <laughs> look, look. I saw an African American woman carry a white child away from Katrina with my very own eyes. You can fill in the spirits of pain with their lives. Lincoln and Douglas, Kennedy and King, they had everything in common. They all shared the same dream, but after all this, you still push me away. You still think I'm different from you just because I say zapato sometimes instead of shoe. And though the man who thinks estupido is the word of the you, the poet knows that this is not true as much as we hate to admit it. You are me. And I am you. So I guess hermanos is the word for us in Spanish. And like all brothers, we sometimes don't get along, sometimes we get what's right, confused, what's wrong, but we shouldn't be so simple. But we choose not to see that you and I, that we are impenetrable. <laughs> which comes from the Spanish penetrar. Derived the Latin penetrabalis, which means two standings, one. Look, I have a brown daughter. You have a white son. Don't let language be a barrier between them. Let them get to salsa from my lady together to the music of Justin Bieber. <laughs> Let there be arroz con pollo with a side of mac and cheese, please. Let there be a blending of all accents, all colors, all things. Let there be new variations on old things. Let them be better than you and me. Maybe it's time we embrace our differences like they were our children and just let them be. Good gracias. Gracias for coming. Thank you so much.